The trial picks back up in the arson case of the Navy sailor accused of starting the fire that destroyed the USS Bonham Richard. The trial comes more than two years since it happened. CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live outside Naval Base San Diego where, where the trial stands here. We're heading into day two here, Dana Marie. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Eric and Netta. Yesterday, we heard witnesses for the prosecution. Those were sailors that were on the bottom of Richard the day of that fire. They gave us a timeline of what they believe happened. Now, one of the biggest takeaways is that Mays is still being charged with arson, but the way the government is now perceiving this is now as more of an accident rather than making him out to be a disgruntled Navy SEAL trainee dropout. Take a listen. Their whole position was that Mays uh, sabotaged the ship, he had cut hoses, that this was an intentional act because he hated the Navy so much that he decided to burn the Panama Shard down. Hey guys, just want to say I appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you very much. No comment at this time. Now you just saw 22 year old seaman recruit Ryan Mays walking out of the courthouse and we heard from Gary Barthel, his former attorney during preliminary hearings, who say that Mays is innocent. Now Mays is accused of using an accelerant to start the fire on the U.S. Bonham Richard in July of 2020. Inside of the courtroom, he sat quietly at a table next to his three military attorneys. Now in opening statements, prosecutors started by saying, quote, it was a mischievous act of defiance gone wrong more like an accident and not the intentional sabotage they originally said. Yesterday, half a dozen men who were on the board on board the ship testified about what they saw, heard and smelled. One even choked back some emotion. Another said the fire was so hot, his equipment stopped reading the temperature at 900 degrees and stopped working at 1100 degrees. Prosecutors say the fire burned for several days until ATF agents could assess the damage and determine it was arson. They say they have an eyewitness who saw Mays in the area where the fire started, even though he had no business being there. But Barthel, that former attorney, doesn't buy it. He says the Navy is using Mays as a scapegoat to deflect further negligence away from themselves. Now, the prosecution star witness did not testify yesterday, but Mays will be back in court today for the second day of this trial. Of course, we're going to be closely following this as it develops. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from Naval Base Coronado.